uh, some of you may know we have uh, released a new updated version for Harmonic Pattern Plus and uh, Harmonic Pattern Scenario Planner. Uh, so today I'm going to just show you a quick tour around the new update. Uh, so firstly, we have uh, symbol scroll arrows updated. So now you can uh, change the symbols by using left and right arrow buttons on the chart. Um, the order of symbols change is based on the symbol order listed on the market watch. So as you click the left arrow, uh, the symbol will be moving toward the top of the market watch. And then when you click the right arrows, the symbol will move toward the bottom of the market watches. Once the last symbol in the market watch reaches, the first symbol in the market watch will be shown next, so the symbol selection will circle around. So I'll show you a step-by-step -step example. So you have uh, symbols on USD CAD now. Um, so these are the symbol uh, scroll arrows. So if you click symbol scroll arrow, this one, then it will move to USD JPY, which is moving uh, moving toward the bottom of the market watches. As you see, there is um, uh, all the forex symbol loaded up, and um, if you click the left arrow, you go back to the USD CAD, and if you click one more time, you go back to C C GBP CHF. So if you keep click JP JPY Euro USD Euro JPY Euro GBP and uh, XAG USD, which is the bottom of the market watch. So it will circle around, it will circle around uh, uh, this uh, market watch list. So <clears throat> that's about our symbol scroll arrows update. And uh, next we will look at the MAPE mean absolute percent error. The MAPE tells you how perfect the pattern is. Uh, smaller is better. It means that the uh, the pattern is more close to the ideal patterns. However, don't confuse uh, the MAP with the success rate. They are different metrics. A uh, pattern with a smaller MAP is more tradable relative to the pattern with a larger MAP. It is, however, this is only rule of thumb only, and the different patterns may have different criteria. So, as you see now, the um, patterns and now shows the names and this 7.53% uh, the MAPES as well. So if you click, uh, now we can see there's a, a butterfly pattern with the MAPE 15.998% and now you can see the bearish uh, 5 to 0 pattern with the 5.19% MAPE. So now new harmonic patterns uh, shows uh, MAPE uh, metrics for each patterns. Um, now, um, I'm going to talk about uh, harmonic pattern uh, scenario planner uh, this time. So here are the quick talk summaries. I'm going to go through new user interface for harmonic pattern scenario planner. And uh, uh, we already visited the symbol scroll arrows. And then we also visited the MAPE mean absolute percent error and I'm going to show you how to identify most probable scenario among many redundant scenarios and there are some ways to trade maybe I can explain and the long term prediction versus short term predictions so the new user interface for harmonic pattern scenario planners um, now with harmonic pattern scenario planner can be used as a harmonic pattern plus mode uh, the reason we changed the tool uh, this way is because of the original uh, scenario planner was uh, too heavy in terms of the computation. So we want to make sure user can uh, load their scenario uh, and patterns more fast and efficient. Um, so we changed this way. Um, so and also um, we have a uh, symbol scroll arrows just like harmonic pattern plus. So now you can uh, change the symbols without loading another chart so very handy and uh, you can also um, uh, create some scenarios by clicking scenario buttons this is also another changes so um, we already visited the symbol scroll arrows from harmonic pattern plus this is exactly the same 
uh, as harmonic pattern plus case and then the same for the uh, map as well so I will load um, uh, say M15 I will load um, harmonic pattern scenario planner on this chart so the symbol scroll arrow is the same as uh, you know before so you will get uh, GBP JPY after Euro USD and uh, you will get Euro USD and uh, Euro JPY and Euro GBP and uh, you will get XAG USD and Euro GBP, uh, Euro USD, Euro GBP JPY like that. So also we will have a MAP mean absolute percent error. Uh, as in harmonic pattern plus, it will show for every patterns. So now, when you click the previous pattern but buttons, you can see um, the 7.51% uh, MAPE, 7.90% uh, ABCD patterns, and uh, this another one, uh, ABCD patterns with 1.14% uh, accuracy, MAPE accuracy, which is quite uh, close to the perfect ABCD patterns. Um, butterfly with 8.94% accuracy. So now you can access to um, can access to uh, the MAP metrics and also now by now you don't have any uh, scenarios uh, loaded up. So to load up the scenarios, you have to click scenario buttons. Then it will take some time to calculate. It will take some time to calculate. Okay, now uh, scenario has been calculated. So now we know if price moves up that much, we might have a, uh, a bad patterns. And also the scenario will have all the map functions. And uh, uh, this is red button, red colors are the bearish scenarios, and these are the bullish scenarios. Uh, so, um, how to identify the most probable uh, scenario among many redundant scenarios? So, now we loaded up our uh, scenarios uh, on our, but if you click the pattern buttons, to remove all the scenarios and then if you click again we have to wait again to calculate all the scenarios <laughs> so don't press this pattern button unless you need to do it so we get the scenarios again yeah yeah and now the point is um, we want to find out one scenario with the lowest map among the same patterns. What I mean by the same, same pattern is here. For example, here we have ABCD patterns with uh, all you know similar price ranges. So we want, but as you can see, the map changes. So. can see this is the smallest smallest map 3.30% so now we place this line here yeah and uh, we change this to uh, ABCD 3.30 uh, that's uh, say bearish ABCD 3.30 that's one scenarios and now we can do the same on here as well uh, we got a 5 to 0 patterns now let's 4.73 6.91 okay so that 4.73 percent maybe is the smallest one so now we place another scenario here and that is uh, Scenario here that name it as a uh, bullish uh, five to zero with a four point seven three percent. 
right? So now when you go, you can see uh, the name of the scenarios exactly. So, and also we can identify on that also as well. So that's a butterfly bat, butterfly bat, uh, no, it's bat. So there's one butterfly, let's have a look. Okay, so let's check the map. Map actually quite high, so it's getting smaller when it goes to when it goes to uh, this is the smallest uh, butterfly with the smallest map. So we put there here. So that will be bearish uh, butterfly with a uh, fifteen point zero three percent. So now, uh, so I just uh, um, showed you these steps: draw horizontal line on the identified patterns, uh, and then name the patterns uh, horizontal line something similar to scenario names. So now, in complicated. Um, quite complicated uh, list of scenarios now come down to three uh, scenarios so if price moves from there to there we will get a ABCD patterns and then if price come down to there we will get a, a bullish 5 to 0 patterns um, so this is how you identify most probable scenarios among many redundant scenarios and the ways to trade, uh, you can use Scenario Planner uh, in, as, an, as in Harmonic Pattern Plus mode and you can trade the same as a way as usual Harmonic Pattern Trading Strategy. So enter the trade with one candle bar confirmation after pattern is formed. And also you should check oscillators like uh, RSI or uh, CCI or Volume Zone Oscillator VZ, VZO indicators. And the scenario can be used for entry using pending order. Uh, this one uh, enables you to enter early even before pattern is forming. Apply this strategy if current price is not too much away from your identified uh, identified scenarios. So you are more likely to uh, look at this scenario than this scenario because of it's far away. This scenario is far away from current prices, and then you know this scenario may not be realized but this scenario is more likely to be realized um, and the scenario also can be used for exit using storm loss or take profit and if you want to practice trade on M1 or M5 on your demo account and this is the best way of uh, you know, learning uh, your trading skills uh, for long term prediction uh, versus short term predictions the um, Long term predictions, so this is uh, probably long term predictions, and this is probably short term predictions, um, and this is short term predictions as well. And more long term predictions are more difficult to predict, and as time goes, check if your identified scenarios are still hold in place by re uh, reloading scenario again. Uh, they may change, you know, after some time later. Uh, future is dynamic. And uh, short term predictions, uh, is more practical for trading a quick realization of pattern after scenario is identified so you should trade on this one this ABCD patterns or you should trade on this uh, uh, bullish uh, 5 to 0 scenarios okay in conclusion uh, harmonic pattern scenario plan offers you the whole new ways of trading with the harmonic patterns you can act and think early before other harmonic traders you can use it as a typical harmonic pattern trading strategy but you can also create innovative trading setup which other traders can reach thanks so much for this short uh, video tutorials um, and I will probably see you again for